I am in central Oklahoma, uh, between the Wichita Mountains and Chickasha. I'm heading into the Kichai Hills. My target today is Buzzard's Roost. And Buzzard's Roost is very famous uh, in Oklahoma lore, treasure hunting and stuff like that. You know, I'm not a treasure hunter by any means, but I am very interested in the history of Oklahoma as well as stories about Jesse James and what have you. Uh, so Buzzard's Roost is pretty much the epicenter of treasure tales here in Oklahoma. So uh, it has a cave, and I believe it's since collapsed, but there's a cave where they found the iron kettle that had the contract carved into it that Jesse James did to, when they were going to divvy out the gold and what have you. So let's see if I can check Buzzard's Roost out, do a little bit of hiking around it, and uh, see if there's anything cool there. Here's Buzzard's Roost. Tad bit windy out here today. Got some storms rolling in in a few hours, so hoping I get all my hiking accomplished. Thought the weather turned in real bad on me. All right, so this little hill's not too big. It's got some really cool features on top. Relatively quick hike up. Pretty neat little arch that's up there. Well, unfortunately, there's graffiti. That's just what people do. Good view. Knife and the pistol. cave that had the iron bucket it was down there. It's collapsed quite a bit since then. James Brothers, Frank or Jesse. That's pretty cool. And another look at the knife and pistol there. That pointed to where there was some treasure buried. Once I get all to here, I'll go through the story because it's just too windy. I don't know how the sound's going to come out. around the side here. so much. Alright, so it was just too windy up there 
to uh, trying to tell the story. So the reason why this place is so popular is because of the iron kettle that was found that Jesse James carved the contract into. So rumor has it, legend has it, there was a convoy of donkeys carrying a lot of gold in Mexico. Jesse James's gang robbed that convoy. On the way back through here bringing the gold, there was a blizzard and they had to stash it. So they came back, eventually uh, burned the pack sacks and stuff. And uh, that contract states who gets what amount of gold and all that stuff. And of course, Joe Hunter was approached by a guy in Rush Springs uh, who gave him several maps that brought him to this area here. And that's where they found the iron kettle. And then up on top, there's the pistol and the knife that point to where Jack, they said code, Jack was codenamed for gold, where someone was buried at. And I can't remember if they found it or not. Either way, uh, there's a lot of good videos and stuff on YouTube that show and I go into a lot more detail because I'm not extremely knowledgeable on this subject. All right, so I had to get out of the wind. I don't know how much uh, the sound is actually going to come out on that video. So, uh, but anyway, uh, like I said earlier, Buzzard's Roost is kind of the epicenter for, you know, treasure hunters and the Jesse James, the lore of all that. Uh, you know, I talked about the the convoy that was, you know, essentially hijacked and they brought the gold and had to stash it because of the blizzard. Um, they came back and divvied it out and then the contract was carved into the iron kettle that was found there at Buzzard's Roost. Uh, I'm actually driving through cement now, which I believe there's actually a museum here too. Um, I'm not too sure on that, so don't hold me to it. But uh, it's the closest little town to Buzzard's Roost. Uh, but anyway, um, really cool to see. I hate to see all the graffiti, and unfortunately that's what happens, and that's why things get closed off or essentially permitted and guarded and all that. People just can't respect stuff, and it's, it's sad. But uh, it's nice to see that the pistol and the knife is untouched and that you can still see that. That's really cool uh, to know that, you know, they obviously don't know if Frank or Jesse James did that. One of them did. But it's cool just to be in the same spot as them in such a storied area. So, you know, for years there's been rumors of gold here and there, the Iron Door, uh, you know, Wichita Mountains, and, you know, there's just so many stories. Depends who you talk to, what version you get. Uh, but I'm very intrigued by all of it. You know, I don't know how much of it's true, but it makes a great story. And, uh, you know, maybe there'll be breakthroughs one day and more stuff will be found. I believe a lot of stuff has been found, but it's just been kept quiet. And, and that's okay, you know, I'd probably do the same thing. But... Either way, uh, that was cool to see Bozer Drust and uh, be able to walk around it. It was a real quick hike. So now I'm heading on to the Wichita's to do some more hiking. Beautiful day in Oklahoma.